Thanks to an incredibly kind donation from my buddy Joseph, we have here in the studio today a vintage G.I. Joe Adventure Team helicopter. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk about all of the helicopters that existed within the Hasbro G.I. Joe toy line and in Palatoy's Action Man toy line in the UK, because there was many, many variations of this helicopter. It was a really exciting toy and every child of the 70s who was either into G.I. Joe Adventure Team or Action Man wanted a helicopter in their collection. So we're gonna get down and dirty with these helicopters today. We're gonna to discuss all the different variations, so stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. This video is proudly brought to you by Valiverse, the creative company behind the most exciting new action figure range available on the market today, Action Force. Make sure you visit the Valiverse.com website to purchase your amazing Action Force comics, toys, and other products. And follow Valiverse on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook to keep up to date with the latest product news. All the links are in the description below. Shop Valiverse, because it's time for action. Hey toy fans, my name is Tony, and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel, where we're obsessed with bringing you the true history of vintage toys and action figures. The G.I. Joe Adventure Team Helicopter was first released by Hasbro in 1971 as part of the Search for the Stolen Idol playset, which also came with a snake and a small golden idol accessory. And this yellow helicopter was sold in parts form where a child would clip it together somewhat like a snap together model. And the yellow helicopter with the red accents, when you've got a G.I. Joe land adventurer in the cockpit, this, to me, is the iconic image of 1970s G.I. Joe Adventure Team. There's nothing in my mind that is more iconic in that particular range. This is the rugged G.I. Joe Adventure Team. Today's mission, rescue stolen idol. Your own G.I. Joe will need the Adventure Team helicopter. Joe gets it together and takes off. There it is, but it's guarded by a giant cobra. Can Joe get the idol? You find out. Search for the Stolen Idol, a G.I. Joe adventure. G.I. Joe sold separately. I can't begin to tell you how pleased I am to have this toy in my collection. Even though they're iconic and many of them were sold, this is actually quite a fragile toy and trying to get them mint and complete today can be very, very challenging. And even though this one on the surface looks really minty, it's not without its faults. And uh, fortunately for me, my buddy Joseph, who you may remember restored the Gaucho action figure from the Palatoy Z-Force line, he was able to restore this toy. And you can see some images here of how he used some copper pipe and a few other modeling materials to repair, in particular, the landing skids of this G.I. Joe Adventure Team helicopter. Now let's go through all the play features that were packed into this awesome Hasbro G.I. Joe toy. First of all, we have a cockpit that comfortably seats a single G.I. Joe Adventure Team member who can pilot the helicopter using the joystick and control panel. We then have a push button which operates the rotors and this works very, very well. You can see here, you know, you can get this up to quite a significant speed. By pressing the button in rapid succession, you really can get a lot of speed out of these rotors and kind of once you get it up to its kind of highest sort of pitch, the rotors will keep spinning for a long time. And finally, we have the rope winch, which can be used to tow around G.I. Joe equipment or even rescue a G.I. Joe. As I said, this toy was first introduced in the United States in 1971 as part of the Hasbro produced G.I. Joe Adventure Team series. But then in 1974, it was introduced into the British toy market as part of Palatoy's Action Man toy line. And the overall construction of the original Action Man helicopter is exactly the same as the G.I. Joe Adventure Team version. The only difference being it was molded in green plastic. And the toy was so popular in the UK in 1974, Palatoy decided to bring out a dedicated helicopter pilot figure in 1975. This figure came equipped with short black boots, a blue zip-up jumpsuit that had some orange piping down the seams on either side, a orange scarf, and a white pilot's helmet with a green kind of flip-down visor and an oxygen mask. 
And this was a very popular figure in the Action Man line that carried on for many years after its introduction in 1975. In 1976, the Hasbro Toy Company took the basic shell of this helicopter, molded it in black plastic, and gave it some major upgrades to produce the G.I. Joe Capture Copter. And the whole idea behind this Capture Copter was so that the adventure team could capture one of the intruders. In 1977, this Hasbro designed G.I. Joe Capture Copter also crossed the Atlantic and was introduced into Palatoy's Action Man range. And during this same year, Many other Hasbro design products entered the Action Man toy line, such as Bullet Man, the Human Bullet, the Atomic Man, and the Intruder. Action Man. It's the Action Man team on patrol looking for the Intruder, strong man from another world. Action Man spots him with his eagle eyes. Too late, the Intruder's got Tom Stone in a vicious bear hug. Atomic Man lets him have it with an atomic right. The Intruder is stunned, but not for long, and the chase is on. Action Man checks out underwater in the Sea Wolf, the Action Team submarine that actually dives and surfaces. No luck. He takes to the skies with his turbocopter and spots the Intruder's hideout from above. This is a job for Bullet Man, the human bullet. That'll flush him out. And here comes Action Man in the capture copter. Mission accomplished. Action Man. By 1981, Hasbro's 12-inch G.I. Joe range had long since been cancelled, but this didn't stop Palatoy from doing another variation of this classic helicopter, this classic toy. New for 1981, Palatoy introduced the Assault Copter, an army green helicopter that still used the basic shell that was first designed all the way back in 1971. But this time, it was equipped with an M60 machine gun and an ammo belt, and a pair of rocket pods that attached to either side of the landing skids and were capable of firing four spring-loaded soft rubber rockets. To coincide with the introduction of the Assault Copter, Palatoy also offered a new variation of its classic Action Man helicopter pilot figure. And this newly designed helicopter pilot that was also introduced in 1981 now features a green jumpsuit with yellow piping, a yellow scarf and a green helmet with a flip-down visor and oxygen mask. This outfit is also notable for coming with a US Air Cavalry logo on the back of the helmet. This is today's action man, watching the armored jeep getting ready for action. Talking commander gives his orders. Give me some cover. The assault copter fires off its rockets in support, right on target. But is the battle over? Only you know, you and action man. So far, we've had the Adventure Team helicopter, the Basic Action Man helicopter, the Capture Copter, and now the Assault Copter. Four different variations of the same toy using different colors and different accessories. But then in 1983, Palatoy gave us the fifth and final variation of this particular toy. To bolster the ranks of Palatoy's immensely popular Action Man SAS range, which was first released in 1982, in 1983, they introduced the SAS Airstrike Helicopter. This time molded in all black plastic with yellow accents and featuring the same flotation aids on the landing skids as what came with the capture copter and also equipped with another M60 machine gun. This is the perfect helicopter for airdropping your SAS troopers into a hot LZ. Currently in my collection, I have the yellow G.I. Joe Adventure Team helicopter, which as I mentioned, was very kindly donated by my friend Joseph and actually inspired the whole idea for this video. I also have the Assault Copter and the SAS Airstrike Copter. But as you can see here, these are quite sizable toys and they do take up a lot of space. So I don't really have any desire to collect the others. If I was going to get one of the two that I don't have, it would be the Capture Copter. I'm not too concerned about picking up the basic green Action Man helicopter. Both Hasbro and Palatoy produced very large numbers of their various different helicopter toys. And even though they were mass produced, they are still very difficult to find today due to their fragile construction. If purchasing one, you need to be very aware of the condition of the landing skids and the tail section of this toy. Despite the wide variety of different helicopters produced by both Hasbro and Palatoy, you might be surprised to learn that Palatoy actually had plans for a few more Action Man helicopters. The first of which is an Action Man police helicopter, and this was designed by Palatoy designer Brian Turner. 
the man behind the Action Man police motorcycle, and the designer who also created the Action Force Sea Lion. And here we have an exclusive image of a prototype medical helicopter for Action Man. And this just screams MASH, doesn't it? But as I said at the start, the yellow G.I. Joe Adventure Team helicopter is just iconic. It screams Adventure Team to me. It's the, probably the first thing that pops into my head whenever someone says to me, G.I. Joe Adventure Team. It's the yellow helicopter. And every incarnation of these toys, be it the Adventure Team helicopter, the Capture Copter, or even closing out the Action Man line with the SAS Airstrike helicopter. They were all immensely popular with the children of that era. And they look absolutely striking when displayed together. So thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to check out some of our other G.I. Joe videos, you can click the links right here. Or to subscribe to the channel, you can click the button down here. I'm Tony from Analog Toys, and I'll see you in the next video.